Yeah, this is Paul. I'm thinking in these high temperatures throughout, well, eastern Washington could be much of the rest of the country. Yeah. Wherever there is fluoridation, I'd like to know what fluoridation there is. Now, the nice part is when it's really hot, it's easy to get rid of water. Now, I, I don't know exactly how the metropolitan areas have set up their water supply. But wouldn't it be nice if you could use the water that's used for irrigation to use that for the water supply of the population and use the water supply from the population to use that for irrigation? <laughs> I don't think corn or strawberries or various kinds of fruits or nut trees are really going to be affected by evaporating fluoride. Could somebody get the schematics? <laughs> of exactly how the water supply is set up in all of the areas that are very, very hot right now. Now, sometimes you can throw in a couple valves, okay? <laughs> you can move some water around. You can get rid of the water that... Uh, those that wanted to take the brains, you know, the come to find out fish family that doesn't enforce the laws of the United States is... It seemed to me the last couple of days I've had some difficulty thinking. Now, they wouldn't have thought, well, why don't we just fluoridate all the water because people are drinking a lot of it and uh, it's really hot outside, so we're going through a lot of water. <laughs> now, I don't know the exact amounts of fluoride or other chemicals that should be in the water supply, but it seemed to me that a lot of those that work in municipalities, <laughs> they used to be super smart, but if I'm having a difficult time thinking, and I've never been a come to find out virtualized American citizen, <laughs> I just wonder what they're thinking. Um... You know, it's it's not going to be an easy fix, but it would be nice to get rid of the municipal water supplies water uh, on agriculture <laughs> and then keep the water that goes to the agriculture in the municipality. <laughs> now, I know, somebody's thinking, oh, these are billion-dollar projects. We just can't do that overnight, okay? We just can't. <laughs> but when you really sit down and look at where is the water coming from and where is it going <laughs> there are those that would love to take the brains of the population just because they sit at home and watch hd tv and drink water or iced coffees or sodas or <laughs> different types of liquid products because it's so hot outside um i just wonder what should you be doing right now? <laughs> now, for every location that happened to have their own personal access to the water supply, <laughs> seemed like a lot of fish or those that had fish clones or fish twins or whatever it is that they thought that they absolutely needed so they didn't have to go to work every day. <laughs> uh, I kind of think that they might have some sort of underground access to the water supply and I'd like to know what they're putting in the water right now.